2016 uh, Michelle A's uh, biopic, uh, Surviving Compton, came out. Never saw her. Well, you said you saw a small part of it. Yeah, I looked at it like, I, I, ain't, I ain't watching no more. And, and you said that <laughs> they made Dre look like Ike Turner Jr. <laughs> and he said the, the movie overdid it, and you, you think that Michelle A was just mad at Dre. I don't know, but it, I'm like, wow. I, I couldn't watch it no more. I'm just like, uh, that's too much for me. I'm just like, ah. <laughs> it made him look like it was a crazy man, but he wasn't. So I don't, I don't know. Yeah. People got their own opinions. Yeah. I mean, she wasn't in the movie. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I then, mean, it's a bunch of groups that what didn't even, you know, right. didn't even get mentioned. Right. Uh, and then that same year in 2016, it was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction. Right. You guys were nominated four times and didn't make it? I think, I think that was the fourth year. Yeah. All in a row. I didn't think we was going to make it that year. Because I think Janet Jackson or somebody was on the ballot with us. I'm like, oh, we ain't going to beat them. <laughs> we ain't going to beat them. I knew and it, and it happened. Well, the movie helped, obviously. Yeah. The, the movie brought a lot of attention. Yeah. To, to you know, you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Kendrick Lamar actually introduced you guys. Yeah. Uh, during the ceremony. I thought that was dope. And I actually yeah. interviewed you guys also, yeah. I think, for Billboard. Mm -hmm. And you said that, you know, in terms of your favorite artist these days, Kendrick is definitely yeah. one of them. I like Kendrick's style. Yeah. He's dope. Yeah, right. He's absolutely dope. Uh, Gene Simmons, I think, had an issue with you guys being nominated. Yeah. I mean, you know, just hip hoppers getting into the rock and roll. But music is music. I mean, if these certain albums, if they hip hop, country, whatever, they change the world or change music. Why you can't get in there with the other big boys? You got Prince, you got Michael Jackson, you got all these different, they ain't rock and rollers. Right. <laughs> yeah, no one's complaining about Tina Turner <laughs> yeah. like getting in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know. There's lots of R&B acts and, and so yeah. forth. But yeah, uh, so. yeah I mean. I mean, hip, hip hop deserves its place. It, it earned its way. Because hip hop is in every kind of music now. Every yeah. kind of music. Yeah, I mean, and it's dope, you know, to have interviewed some of the people that, that have gotten into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, mm -hmm. like Chuck D and Flavor Flav, yeah. you know, from Public Enemy, of yeah. course, uh, Melly Mel. Yeah. You know what I mean? To really see some of these oh, yeah. heroes of mine be recognized yeah. like that, I think is dope. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, congratulations on that. That's a oh, big thing. You know, a lot of times I thing. forget about it, but yeah. I'm like, oh, we did make that, you know, because you can't get yeah. no higher in music. Right. That's it. That, the Hall of Fame. That's the ceiling. <laughs> that's the ceiling. Exactly. 2017, Dre uh, did The Defiant Ones, you know, with Jimmy Iovine. You, you were in that, right? Yeah. But you never watched it. I never watched it. Everybody say, watch it. It's good. <laughs> you in there a lot. I'm like, okay, but I never watched documentaries. And, I mean, to this day, are you and Dre still, still cool? Do you guys still talk and everything? Oh, yeah. 